Okay, welcome back to MBR, and this is dependencies. So, I'm talking about in the physical and the non physical side of the world or everything. Um, so, what we get to depend on is what we create through a habit, and can be a di an addiction if you can't just switch off from it. When you're doing it repeatedly and you just can't get away from it, and it's got that hold onto you. And um, where I've used it in the past, maybe I've used it for drink, well, I have used it for drink, drugs, smoking, different things like that. Uh, in the spiritual side of things, I've used it for meditating, taking myself away from the physical side of the world and just going to wherever I wanted to go. Now what's the bad side of it? The bad side of it is when you depend on something so much and you're doing it repeatedly, it seems everything. Too much of one thing is not good for you. It takes you away from everything else so you don't get the right learning or developing of the world in how it is, physically and non-physically. So if you think about it when I'm just that I've quit smoking again uh, there, but I don't have a problem with smoking or drinking or taking drugs or anything like that. Uh, but I was, I put myself where I was using smoke as a, uh, as a tool for myself. So when I'd be out in the physical world, there was something to do to take my mind away from other things. Just the same as meditating. But if I was out with other people, I used to smoke them. Now, I just quit it again. And I just quit it because I found that it was getting too much on the body. And obviously it doesn't take long for anything like to make a change in your physical side of things. But I don't use it as a, an addiction, is what I'm trying to show you here. When you get to that point and you've got something like smoking as an addiction, to cut off from it is learning how it works, how it affects you, being aware of yourself, opening up your awareness of you and how you think about it and how your thoughts and feelings change as the development of you getting that cigarette into your mouth and into your lungs. So if you notice any time you go to take a cigarette if you've got an addiction of anything, look at it in this way. Once you have it or you make that drive to go and get it, like if I want to go and get a cigarette and I had that addiction, well as soon as I take that cigarette out of the pack or even it, it could be different with different people but before you smoke it, that urge or that itch or that habit is gone because you've created the chemicals in your body that's giving you that itch to grab it, that addiction that you have built up inside you. So when you've made that, made that approach through using your body, you're telling yourself that, right, I'm gonna go and have a cigarette. And then you're making that approach. You'll notice that the whole itch to go and have the cigarette is gone. Yet you follow through with your actions when there's no need to. If you could stop yourself at that point when you're aware of yourself, you will notice when that itch goes. So all you have to do is tell yourself as if you were going to go and have a cigarette, you will notice that the itch goes to have that cigarette. And you don't need to take it. The same as anything, or alcohol, drugs, gambling, anything that becomes an addiction where 
it's ruining you in the physical side of the world or the non-physical side of the world. Now, one of my addictions would have been meditating and overdoing it, I would say. Because going into the non-physical side of the world, when you go and meditate, you're taking your mind away from everything. You take yourself away from everything. It becomes your life. Well, with me, it did. It became my addiction. And then I didn't go through with everything that everybody else was going through in the physical side of the world and I was missing out on it. So we all have different things. Now, you have spiritual people, oh, you, you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't drink, but it's all baloney. You need to be taking part in the non-physical and the physical side of everything. You don't get a true understanding of everything. If you're going to be in the non-physical side of things, and just think it's all about that. Well, it's not. You still need the physical side of things because that's why you're in this body. To take yourself out, to learn these experiences in the physical side of the world and take it back to the non-physical side. And you learn from that. And then when you go to the non-physical side, you clear, you empty the mind, you empty the body of all the things that are not wanted from you. That you didn't want during that day, but you learn to grow with that and to enjoy the experience, whether you want it or not. And you level yourself out, by bal you balance yourself out, by taking yourself into both areas, but not overindulging on either, whether it be meditation or a habit that you have in the physical world. And it doesn't necessarily have to be meditation. That could be yoga, tai chi, anything that's taking you away from the physical side of the world where you're just focusing on you because it's not all about you. And I know in the past I've always said you've got to focus on you. You do need to focus on you. That's where it begins, from the inside out. The problem is people get focused on everything outside of them and they forget about themselves and then you might sit there and you say well, how do I forget about myself, I look after myself, I keep myself well, I buy good stuff for myself, yeah there you go, you start going out and looking for stuff outside of you to feel that goodness within you, you may feel good in that sense but why, is it from all the things that you've caught or all the things that's out there that you can get? That's not a true way of being healthy within yourself. True way of being healthy within yourself is focusing on what's good for you, what is actually good for you. And there's only a couple of things that we really all need in this world, and that's the food to live off and the land and a roof over our head. Companionship of other people. What else is needed? Nothing clothes on our back maybe but that's about it yet we haunt and focus on other things that's around us and we get these addictions and let them control us we're we're the one that's making the choices we've got that control if we are aware of ourselves so when them addictions pop up and we're aware of it we know when to change to make that change, to switch it off. So you have the power. And as I say, I just quit smoking again, and I will go back and smoke again uh, at some stage, most likely. Um, when pubs open again or something, I might go for a drink and have a scrap or two, but I won't go whole hog on them. It's just something that, that I enjoy. Uh, on the physical side of things but then when I take myself to the non-physical side of things and focus on I I don't enjoy it uh, but in the moment in the time and that's what it's about in the moment I enjoy it when I go for a drink in, with friends or something to a pub I have a cigarette I enjoy it I enjoy going out and having the chit chat and all that there but in the moment, not all the time in the moment. Because then it becomes a habit. And it takes over. Where then 
you don't get that time to focus on the spiritual side of things or the non-physical side of things where I'm a, where I arrived from I don't get to focus on I, the true I I get to focus on the ego and the body and everything and which we need to balance it out as I say you got to do a bit of both but to change the addictions and to not let them control us you got to take that awareness on yourself and that's why we have these addictions we're not focused on us we're focused on what's out there that makes us feel good because we put a meaning to it and when it comes with chemicals the chemical imbalance disturbs us so we're bouncing all over the show but we think we're getting a good buzz of it until we have too much of something and then we feel like crap afterwards like the effects of alcohol on a hangover or something or regrets to smoking too much and your airways blocking up and stuff like that it becomes too much or gambling um, gambling so much that it causes problems where you don't have no cash or family problems with no cash and it's the same with any addiction um, shopping and going and buying different things all the time that you've no need for and then filling your closet up with a pile of stuff that you don't even use or wear or it could be just gadgets that you're buying all the time and then they sit there and neither maybe not even opened and it's a waste you don't get the fulfillment of it but what is happening is that you're putting a label on it so when you're buying it you're feeling that you're going to get a good feeling from buying it and then you buy it and it sits there does nothing and it was all created by how you thought about it to the feelings you caught from buying it and then you're out the money you're in a loss you're gaining nothing because you put a meaning to something instead of looking within yourself and understanding that it's you that's making you this way by getting attached to things that's outside of you there's no need to get attached to the things that I'd say to you. Anything that you want in life will be there if you want it. You take the action and you make yourself, or you take a step forward and make yourself go towards whatever it is that you desire. But you don't use it as an addiction. If you're feeling that you won't want to get in it, that, or move that addiction to something that's good for you, and I still say, you, you need to cut it off. You can't keep out, like training your body, exercising, and then going for walks, eating healthy. But you still can't do all that all the time. You need to join in with, with the physical side of things, of everything, of everyone, the connection that we have to each other. And you're going to have to, at some stage, enjoy that big juicy burger, chips and that, if you're a healthy eater, or just exercising and all that there. You're going to just have to relax because you're going to develop uh, strains and pains and probably rip muscles or tendons and cause an injury with it your body's gonna make you change through that injury and stop you from your training so you're not gonna keep it going and that's just your body showing you that you don't stick to one thing all the time you need to change it up and also when you're changing it up and the regular the more regular you change it you start progressing you start progressing and adding new things to your life and the more new things that you add to your life and that you start to enjoy the more of a life that you have the more of a reason that you have to enjoy life 
So give it a shot. That if you feel that you have an addiction of anything, just remember to focus on how you're feeling, how you're thinking about it. And once you see that change, before you take the drink or cigarette or go for a gamble or go shopping or even doing your workout or your diet, um, just watch as soon as you make that approach how your feelings and emotions change, how your thoughts change by being aware of yourself. And when you're doing this, the next time you do it, you know what to do is change them thoughts. To think of something else that you could be doing or something else that you could add to your life to do that will take you away from focusing on that addiction. And then you don't need to take part in it. You can take yourself away from it that day. Now, I'm not saying break the habit just like that. That'll be one day or one moment that you've completed. And the more often that you do this, the more you take control of your life rather than the addiction and all that's outside of you taking control of you. So give it a shot. And this is Mind Body Reprogramming and thank you for watching.